Jake here. Today we're headed to a spot called Bonners Ferry located in Idaho to help FBI and police locate a missing murder weapon that was tossed into the river. Out of respect for the people involved, I have to be a little broad with this story, but basically there were two chiropractors. One was actually on the phone call with his wife the moment he was shot and murdered. The other chiropractor admitted to doing it and he also admitted where he threw the weapon into the river. And that's where we're coming in to hopefully find this weapon. I will say there's a major challenge we face doing this. Other divers did search for this weapon and did not locate it. And I am their last ditch effort to locate this missing firearm. This is the smoking gun to this case. If we find this, we will put this man away and bring closure to the family. Let's try our best. So we're at the first location where we think the murder weapon could be at. We're gonna dive underneath this bridge and hopefully find it. If not, we have a few other spots to check out as well, but let's get underwater and check it out. thing so far I found was a plastic bottle filled with something. Let's get back underwater and hopefully find this thing. I found a bunch of railroad nails and stuff belonging to this railroad bridge here. No gun, but let's get back underwater and hopefully find it. the gun but I found some other cool thing. I searched the best I could. I'm cold. <laughs> Let's get underwater and start searching. Hey, I don't know how, but it feels like it got even colder. <laughs>
I didn't find a murder weapon, but I found a bag of bones. I don't know if they're human. Hopefully they're not. Yeah, I thought I'd bring them up just in case. You just never know. I think that's a deer, maybe. It looks like, it looks like, like an elk. Some or an elk or something. Right. I don't know. I found it out there, I was like, I'm gonna put it in a bag, you just never know. I also found some other cool stuff, take a look. So I found a cash register, which is pretty cool. I also found a Casio something, I'm not too sure what this is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. I also found some more bones. I only found all these because this actually stabbed me in the leg, and I thought it was a needle, it was so sharp. So at this point, we dove a handful of locations that haven't found the murder weapon. But we're at a brand new spot, and it's a little sketchy, and I think this could be the perfect area the killer would toss a weapon. He would pull his car up right here at this bridge, toss it out the window, and just move on with his day. So I'm gonna check it out and get underwater and hopefully find this. Super cold right now. We've been to a lot of places. This is the last spot. We're gonna be searching for the weapon. It's a do or die kind of situation. I'm gonna try my very best, but I'm so excited to get back underwater and hopefully come across this weapon that we've been searching all day for. computer and put it on shore and this thing was so heavy to get up I almost couldn't even get it up but I just thought I'd get it out of the water this could have been the murderer's computer you never know but pretty cool find so I just got done scuba diving and searching this spot with just my eyes and I did not come across the murder weapon however I do have a secret weapon that's gonna help me out in searching the mud check it out <laughs> I got a big magnet with a short rope I'm gonna go around and just stamp this into the ground if I get lucky enough to get close to the gun we'll find it and then stick to this thing
searched every location that I thought the weapon could be at. We even followed back to the exact spot the murderer said he tossed the weapon in and searched that for as long as possible. I tried so many different things and I did not get lucky enough to find it. The wife of the victim invited us for lunch in Quarter Lane, Idaho. The place was beautiful, but to be honest with you, sitting at that table in front of her was a little emotional. It was kind of hard to even sit there without kind of tearing up. She was telling us about her and her family and her husband. She just wanted that closure. I tried my very best. I spent my own money and my own effort to get up there to try to find this weapon for her. But I will say confidently that I tried my absolute best. The water was freezing cold. I stayed out there all day long. Now, this is where you guys can come in and help me out. I want you to double check the footage. So go back from the start where I started diving underwater. Look at every little clip and make sure I did not pass up a revolver pistol. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new, but I'll catch you guys on my next adventure.